Good evening, YouTube. Hardball Crazy coming back to the video. Uh, Derek here in a long way to visit. It's been over a week or so. Um, been busy with work, a little fatigue from work and all. But I do have a stack of cards I picked up, most some through eBay. I had a, I went to a card show a couple weeks ago. Uh, some highlights and stuff that I want to show you. But tonight, this is something I'm just kind of um, pondering about, thinking about. So I'm just being a, a thinking man tonight. Uh, I'm going to talk about young stars. Uh, something I thought about the other day. Uh, if you asked us back in 1988-89, guys are old enough, old enough to remember it. Uh, baseball back then and um, car collected cards back then. He would probably t ask us that um, Daryl Strawberry, Don Gooden, Don Mattingly, um, Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, Bo Jackson, Eric Davis, um, Will Clark. Um, see if I'm missing anybody I can think of. They're pretty much, we, th we ask them back, maybe even Horrell Hershiser. Um, maybe back in the day, ask us 88, 89, uh, you probably say pretty much all of them are going to be future Hall of Famers, but guess what? None of them are. And, um, so I thought about, wow, today's young, this is a group of young class, today's young stars, you know, we have all these great young stars with the, all the juniors, you know, Tatis Jr., Guerrero Jr., and now Bobby Witt Jr., and Bo Bichette, and... Acuna Jr., and you got Devers, and Albies, and Walker Bueller, uh, so many young stars out there, Otani, um, we were all pretty much now anticipating, hoping that these are all guys are future Hall of Famers, but you know what, all the names that Print mentioned before in the 80s, none of them are Hall of Famers, so none of these guys may not be Hall of Famers, we don't know, because we all thought back then those guys were generational talents too, and destined for Cooperstown. So it's just something I thought of. Then again, I thought from beyond that, it doesn't really matter because the guys I named off in the 80s, they're pretty much still kind of collected or the fan base. They're still collected almost like Hall of Famers. You know, there's there's Bonds collectors, McGuire collectors, Conseco collectors, Bo Jackson. His prices are like Hall of Fame prices. Mattingly's prices are like Hall of Fame prices. Strawberry Gooden are still... Uh, thought of eric davis was you know for a while you know but he's less so the uh, collect as hall of famer but he still has a huge fan base um those era those players would probably be uh, highly collected for years because they were uh, most popular players of the franchises and the leagues uh, during the highest part of baseball card boom and so they always have some type of uh niche in the hobby with that group of players guess what and we live in that same thing right now with this heart this previous covid card boom popularity with all these young stars just a thought just some item just some food for thought i guess um i'm not worried too much i'm still going to collect i keep my tatis and guerrero rookies and and acunas and stuff like that if they become busts so oh well i'm not in it for the money but I'm just some th some thinking, some thoughts I've had, you know, thinking out loud here. Um, also, some of the, um, th another thought about um, well, any of us all the time collectors know this kind of a thing that's going on with the modern and the newbie collectors is kind of keeping up with the Joneses mentality. You always got to go go after the big cards and the, get the cards as players as hot and so forth and first Bowman Chrome Autos is usually the go-to for these young stars but you know what if you're uh Bowman Chrome, uh, first Bowman Chrome Autos are not the end-all be-all so I'm gonna kind of show you what I do instead uh first of all um uh, Monday night my Detroit Tigers made a big trade for Austin Meadows I want to share uh the uh card I pulled back in 2018 I have Austin Meadows uh autograph I pulled out back then I always liked him in Tampa Bay even though they're never really a Tampa Bay fan but uh, I kept him and I, I always liked his game so I was super excited the Tigers picked him up for next to nothing who knows Rays will probably develop Isaac Paredes into a all-star or at least a good ball player he never develops as a Tiger also get a supplemental pick who knows the Rays way they probably find some 
awesome player from that draft pick and who become stars. That's what the Rays do. They have that magic potion. But as a Tiger fan, I'm super happy to add Austin Meadows to the lineup. So I actually, another Tiger I have an autograph of. Back to Bowman, first Bowman Chromes. Um, back in the day in the 80s and 90s, when we, we were, you know, we did kind of do the prospecting back then. You know, Greg Jeffries is one name I could, you know, obviously comes to mind. Jerome Walton's, the Ben McDonald's, the Brian Taylor's. Um, you know all the names. Todd Van Poppel's of the world. Uh, many other ones. But back in the day, cars weren't that expensive. And you went out and buy Ben McDonald rookie cards, Greg Jeffrey rookie cards. You pay, what, five bucks for them? And you buy a box of wax. It's like, I remember buying eight and nine boxes of $16 or something like that. You didn't break the bank, but you've tried Prospect now with the hot cards. You've what, paying 150 200 bucks for a hobby box. You want to go for First Woman Chrome with the top tier stars. They come out at First Woman Chrome Autos at 250 300 of the number one picks. So you, you're if you lose out, you lose out big. So I'm, I do the alternative way. I still kind of prospect and get the guys' as, um, cars before they take off. But I do it my way. Is I get uh, if I want to get an autograph and a first Bowman, I kind of do it this way. So this year's uh, out of spring training, all these top prospects are made the big league club, and I'll kind of show you the parts I have of each of those players. First one that is not in the big league club, but he's going because he was injured. So I got his first Bowman paper, Riley Green. He probably debuted sometime with the Tigers in May, but instead. This Chrome, I want to get autograph of him, so I bought this by the time Tigers drafted him. Because I read up on him and I liked his, his uh, as a both player, as a person, so I thought he has a good chance to be a good player. And so I picked up Panini Stars and Stripes auto of him. It's uh, numbered 399. And this is basically his first, I think, auto of. Uh, Stars and Stripes, that's what I did there. And Julio Rodriguez, the Mariners, I think he's going to be really good. He seemed to have that it factor. So I got his first Bowman card of him, paper. And fun fact on him, I was reading an article on Athletic months before uh, first Bowman card came out, like that winter before. I think Bowman comes out, what, in May or so? May, June? In fact, December, February, sometime during the winter. I read an article on The Athletic, and it's just reading about Julio Rodriguez. I was so uh, impressed by the article about how he carried himself and his determination, his drive, and it's just, it just seemed to have that it factor. The people just going to gravitate towards, like he's the new King Griffey Jr. or A-Rod, minus the, you know, the roids. But uh, they, were, they had that charisma that fans just go to and that great talent. So I bought his Downer Elite Extra Edition uh, 2018. This came out months before uh, this first Bowman Chrome. And there's uh, Bobby Witt Jr. We had a great debut today. I think he's going to be a star. And I bought his when he got drafted. Because he can't. Uh, is USA Stars and Stripes. Number to 199, I believe. Torkelson, I bought his first Bowman. This is probably the most I don't have his auto. I did try to do a TTM when Tigers drafted him, but to, to failed. But uh, so this is his first Bowman. Actually, I should pay a little bit for that more than no world. It's CJ Abrams of the Padres. There's first Bowman. And I bought it, his USA jersey auto of him. So at the end of the day, guess what? If these, any of these guys become superstars, I already have an autograph of them. No, it's not the first Bowman. No, they're not a pro uniforms. But you know what? Somebody asked you back in 2009, 2010, Bryce Harper, or uh, get an autograph card, insert card of him in the USA uniform for 20 bucks. You buy 30 bucks. You probably would have bought it all day, any day, because he's not. It's a cards like well over that. But all these Bowmans and things. I think I told. I spent. A total of around a little over a hundred bucks, maybe 120 ish for all these cards. Instead of spending 
250 300 just for his Bowman Chrome at initially, whatever the prices are. That Bobby Witt Jr. is probably well higher than that. Um, so I just pick out the first Bowman if you're a first Bowman, just to have the first uh, cars in the uniforms and have it autographed. So if I find them cheap, but now the, the USA ones, I look at a couple of players now. I think it would be high draft picks this year. Or hasn't had first Bowmans yet, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, so an alternative, a way of collecting if you want to get an autograph, guys, and of, of the players and the first Bowman's a cheaper alternative buying the uh, first Bowman card. So that's my video of the night. I rambled long enough. Uh, I got cards coming. I'll start doing some more videos. Maybe do one tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, happy opening day. Hope you're enjoying baseball. Hope your teams are winning. And thank you for watching. Have a good night.